Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Koji Sheldon. Yes, I'm back. Are you surprised? Nah, you don't have to be surprised. I'm back like backpack. I'm back like Botos. And as I come back in the day, we can't do one back to back like ping pong by Edini Razak. Oh! We have, we have we, the whole country, everybody, they scream bass, my nigga, bass. This is not in the, bro, we not be influencers, so we are the influence. We are the impact. The whole country. Who will do one like that? Could you share these studios? But that is not why I'm here. Uh, Burner Boy. Yes, Burner Boy is trending. And of course, the album is coming this Friday. I told them the album is coming. Uh, you know, some singles there on streaming platforms um, right now. Um, yesterday, um, he released um, Cheats on Me and featuring um, Dave, uh, which is out on all streaming platforms, how do I say? So right now, the promo work, they go on. The promo work, the media rounds and everything, they go on. But Bernard Boy in an interview go say something about Afrobeat that has generated and triggered a lot of conversations on social platforms, especially Twitter Niger, with a lot of music consumers in the Nigerian music space. Saying, say, nah, Odogu, this is not how you for do them. Because you don't slander, you don't chastise, you don't castigate the art that has enabled you. You don't do that. Once again, these are not my words, but my words are coming soon. So Odogu in an interview with Apple Music, anchored by um, Zayn Lowy, question was asked about Afrobeat, and this is what Odogu said. Not even experience, because half of them, you know, yeah. 90 percent of them have almost no ex no real life experiences that they can understand which is why you hear most of nigerian music or i'll say african music. i don't even know what to say afro beats as mm. people call it mm. <laughs> it's mostly about nothing <laughs> literally nothing there's no substance to it like there's like nobody's talking about anything it's just a great time it's an amazing time <laughs> you know what i mean but at the end of the day life is not an amazing time mm. <laughs> mm. Do you know what I mean? No matter how nice you want your, your of a time you're having now or you had at some point mm -hmm. or you plan to have, yeah, you're still going to face life. <laughs> yeah, And if I'm lying. Exactly. So it's like, for me, I feel like music should be that. Music should be the essence of the artist. You understand? The artist is, 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 is a person, like uh, me speaking for myself, the artist is a person who has good days, bad days, great days, and worse days. <laughs> you know what I mean? And for me, if I give you something like this with my face on it and my name, then I should be giving you that experience. Yeah. You know what I mean? I should be, that should be a, a, a window for you to see some of, you know, that essence. <laughs> So your mind is basically saying it's a 90% of Nigerian musicians. The content they put out, you know, there is no substance. So Afrobeat, they lack what? Substance. I have a right up here. Let me read to contextualize the whole thing so that every people will understand the conversation we they can have. Grammy-winning Nigerian singer Damini Ogolu, a.k.a. Burner Boy, has asserted that the Afrobeat genre lacks lyrical substance, stre stressing that it is just a great time. According to him, the genre is literally nothing. The self-star African giant, the self-star, no be me, I talk. The right up here, they talk. The self-star African giant, me, I think he's the African giant, so I don't care whether he's still self-star or not. Stated that this is, uh, stated this in a recent interview with Apple Music's in Low in New York. He said 90% of them Nigerian musicians have no real life experiences, which is why most of the Nigerian music or African music or Afro beats as people call it, it's mostly about nothing, literally nothing. There is no substance to it. Nobody is talking about anything in it. It is just a great time. It is an amazing time. But at the end of the day, life is not an amazing time. No matter how nice of a time you are having now or you had at some point or you plan to have, you are still going to face life. So for me, I feel like music should be the essence of the artist. The artist is, the, the artist is a person who has a, a, a good day, bad day, his great days and worst days. So I'm dropping a project that should be a window for the fans to see those experiences. Yes. 
So this is basically Burner Boy positioning himself as the guy doing the music his colleagues are not doing and bastardizing Afrobeats, a genre of music that what catapulted him to that kind of limelight, to that kind of pedestal. Now, people have asserted said this is an orchestrated effort by Bernard Boy to garner conversation, to generate social currency for his album because he needs people, he they need people to make them talk about the album. So that is what people are asserting on various platforms. And there are people saying, say, you can't debase the culture to foreigners. You can't subject your culture to this kind of, you know, wedding. To foreigners, because you are trying to release an album to appeal to that kind of audience. Mind you, Ben Oboy was recently in the news, uh, I mean, when he released um, Big Seven and the whole Wu-Tang vibe and wearing teams and things, Black American Twitter actually dragged him. And they said, said your man at some point said, said, Black American people, they don't have culture. So why, and Black American people came saying, he said, why is he dabbing their culture? Why is he trying to fit in into the culture he claims that they don't have? So Bernard Boy has been making some, some statements in the system, in the ecosystem. But this Afrobeat thing that he's saying, I do, listen, um, I have been the person that has argued, said Afrobeat is going to get to a point where there is oversaturation. And when there is saturation for a particular product or a particular, uh, you know, initiative at a point, you see, say there is monotony. There is repetition. There is no substance. That is when it go dip. It happens everywhere. And that is why most of the artists right now, they are diversifying. Even him, Bernard Boy, he's diversifying. Because he has seen, say, bro, Afrobeats, you know, he go, he go get peak, then he go drop. And that is where the monotony thing will come inside. That is where the substance thing we will argue about Tom. So that is there. But there are Nigerian musicians that are singing about the things that he's talking about. It is just the oversimplification of message. Because O'Malley's album, that album, most of, why do you think they call it, uh, uh, they say uh, Afro-depression? The guy basically detailed how he, I mean, he's been through all these things, like the, the, his, his life experiences, how some, somebody breaking hearts, he take two songs and turns. So there is message in there, but it has been oversimplified to feed a wider audience. There is no problem with that. So if you are listening to it, you might think, say, ah, what is this guy talking about? But when you sit down and you dip it, well, you understand, say, mm, this is not just a song you understand. He's actually talking about something. And that is what is happening. Now, oversimplification of song or oversimplification of lyrics is important because you are trying to appeal to a wider audience. Nobody wants to sit down and do uh, um, mathematical calculation to understand your songs. So if oversimplification has, you know, created that impression, said there is no substance, I disagree. And that is what Joe Weakan said in the write-up. And I'll read the write-up. So I don't think Afrobeats no get substance. Also, See, I'm I'm an outsider. I did so there are some Bernard Boy songs. I go fit sit here and tell you, say, you know, get substance. So if he is standing on a platform to self-pontificate, he has also been a contributing factor to no substance in Afrobeat. Hear me out. Because people go feel quote a Bernard Boy lyrics, then ah, what is this man saying? So on that platform, don't try to, you know, position yourself in such a way, say, hey, media, I'll be that guy, but my colleagues, you understand? It's like you're throwing them under the mat. We've gotten to the point where Afrobeat to the world is everywhere. We've gotten to the point where Afrobeat is entering rooms, where they normally, if or not, enter them rooms. Why do you think the Grammy is considering some of these, you know, um, 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 song sentence. Because, ah, bro, people are, you, Odogu is out there doing 80,000 capacity stadium. The artists, where they, they, normally, they, they win the Grammy, they know they fit. 
So the bro, them knock the door, and the Grammy people don't have anything to do than to just accept, say, okay, right now you people are supposed to be part of the system. So you don't build this kind of, you don't build to this level, then go stand because you are trying to appeal to a certain audience, you just debase the act that enabled you. Nah, I don't fuck with that. But also, don't try to relegate to the background, say, as I'm not kind of, there is an element or an iota of truth in what he said. Afrobeat, some of the songs where then they churn out recently, you no know, bro. Uh, please, let's be serious. It's like king, 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 kaka, lyrics, boom. People are creating, people are chasing hit songs instead of creating records, instead of creating music. People are creating songs for TikTok. We've stuck with, bro, TikTok, you no, know, uh, that be all. So two ways. Maybe the delivery of the message, you no, know, was some way. But you can't also sit there and tell me, say, what he said, uh, there's no truth about it. Me, my problem is the fact that he removed himself from the, from the equation. Because this is supposed to be a concerted effort. A concerted thing. So that is why a lot of Nigerians are angry. Now, I have a write-up from Joey Akan. Joey Akan is the founder of Afrobeat, uh, you know, intelligence. He's a music nerd, bro, that guy. So he wrote a piece on Twitter, which has um, amassed about 4,000 retweets with 520 quotes. This morning, the quote section for Twitter know the work. Anyway, and I read, now listen to this, because there is substance in this. Bernard Boy and Nigeria music, lack of substance. A piece. Whenever Bernard Boy has to sell a new album to a foreign westernized market, he finds a divisive narrative to, be, to bestow him exceptionalism in a market that does not know his backstory or lack proper context to process his bullshit. He cannibalizes his people for strangers who are yet to fully commit to him. Previous campaigns saw him wearing activism as a cloak and standing in line for oppressed Africans, in quote, to provide himself the marketing angle to push out African giant and twice as tall. And following the blessings of last last, he's aiming for a trifecta by going all in with this messianic what, messaging. And I quote, this is what Bernard Boy said, Nigeria music has no substance. He says, before positioning himself and his output as the most substantial creative expression from what? Nigeria. Nigerian music has substance. We are a party nation finding expression in rhythm and emotional upliftment via happy music. That is why the drumming continues to be most recurring instrument in all of our pop music. For themes, Nigerian music embraces escapism and realism. While Bernard Boy is right that it is a good time, he also fails to understand that the good feeling is a consequence of natural need for emotional upliftment. Has he paid any attention to our lyrics? Now he, he goes on to say this. We dance to Omale Soso, a record about deteriorating mental health and the cultural toxic reliance on women to perform unpaid emotional labor. Shali Poppy might use a piano to get you off your seat. But self-actualization uh, via Survivor is a central theme in his expression. Odomodu Black oscillates between love, camar camaraderie, and what community upliftment. But his tools of trade are often coarse and what rudimentary. And how about our external obsession with love? Where are they couldn't go? Joe Boy, Rema, Fireboy, DML, Fireboy, DML, sorry, Black Bones and Benson have constantly explored all the facets of human connection and the dance that, precede con that precedes connectivity and companionship. While we might dance to Joe Boy sip alcohol, we are witnessing and turning up to a, uh, to a beaten man, reliant on substance abuse to prop up his sanity and cope with the trauma of survival. We just don't see it because we are too busy dancing. We just don't see it because we are too busy dancing. And here comes the oversimplification of message. Because the message has been oversimplified on a kumkumcha beat. So when you are listening to the sound, 
you are oblivious of the fact that there is message in the song. There is substance because you want to dance. And mostly people have always argued, say, you know, Nigeria, for instance, every day you see content creators popping up, right? Everybody is like a comedian in the country. You understand? And here is an assertion, like a popular assertion. This is like a coping mechanism for a lot of people. So not everyone can wake up and sing about the struggles of Nigeria. They have found escapism in art, as stipulated by what Joey Akan. And so that is their way of coping to all the bullshit in the country. So you don't bastardize that strategy or that process. When people say Nigerian music does not have substance, it is not an indictment on the culture and our tendency to oversimplify deep issues, communicating weighty themes via dance music. It is window into that person's mind. The window exposes a lack of intellectual leap or the refusal to see our music beyond the happy feeling it provides. Nigerian music is a reflection of the Nigerian society. Bernard Boy is wrong for debasing his country's art. Ladies and gentlemen, that is from Joey Akan. Bro, simply put. Now, there is this ardent follower of Bernard Boy who did a counter write up or a counter write up to what Joey Akan did or to what people are saying, say Bernard Boy did, where you know, be right. And I read Bernard Boy didn't even tell a single lie about his perspective on Afrobeat as a journal and not having and not having substance whatsoever. Truth is bitter and will always be bitter. And that is what makes him different entirely from the rest. I digress though. Bernard Boy stands, uh, stands out amongst the whole industry because he says things as they are. No need for sugar coating. No need to uh, beat around the bush. That's why he can con comfortably boast of being the best and the greatest artist to ever walk uh, the earth. It is not surprising that he's most... He's, He's the most talented, most versatile, and the best African artist to ever walk the earth. He has proven it ever since he debuted. Um, it is 2020. Only Benna Boy can beat his chest proudly for being the first artist in history of mankind to win the first ever award for the best global music album uh, category. Okay, so this write-up is basically listing Benna Boy's achievement. And I feel like we are digressing. Uh, we are digressing. We are swaying from the topic. The argument is about substance of the music when it comes to Afrobeats as a genre of music. So yes, I understand. But he's a Bernard Boy fanboy, so I understand. So that is what is happening. As I said, using that platform to debase the art that enabled him, I don't fuck with that. But you also can't relegate to the background that Afrobeat is getting to the peak, the saturation level, where if they don't refine and diversify it is going to be monotonous in the streaming, on the streaming platforms and in the newsfeed. And the substance argument will come back to bite us. And probably we are going to say, say, Bernard Boy, come for your stone because you said it. So ladies and gentlemen, Afrobeat gets substance, you know gets substance, it be substance abuse or you know be substance abuse. Let us continue the conversation in the comment section. A lot of people are talking when you go on Twitter. People are writing think pieces about what Bernard Boy said. And this is good for him, though, because, of course, they are talking about him. They are eventually going... These numbers are going to translate into the consumption of his album. So it's social currency for him. And that is why people asserted on the onset that this is an orchestrated effort to garner conversational angles for his album. He's a master of his art. This is marketing. But make we not also push the substance argument to the background. Keep it moving. My name is Kojo Shaw. This man was a brother. I'll call you Kibasa. I'll come, bro. Give me three days. I'll be back to default settings. This video is brought to you by Bit Africa. Queen Elizabeth is calling me. Hey, sorry. King Charles, sorry. We out.